Want to transform your garden with maximum efficiency? The perfect garden isn't just a product of hard work, but also the right techniques. Today we'll uncover the best gardening practices that promise not just beautiful results, but efficiency as well. From the art of planting, to the secrets of pruning, watering and harvesting, we'll explore a myriad of methods that can take your garden from ordinary to extraordinary. So, let's get started. Stay tuned as we delve into the world of efficient gardening. Dive right into the heart of gardening with these dynamic techniques. Let's start by rolling up our sleeves and getting our hands a little dirty with the first technique, composting. Composting is a fantastic way to recycle kitchen and garden waste, turning it into a nutrient-rich soil conditioner. It's like giving your plants a gourmet meal. Next up, we have crop rotation. This old-school method is still one of the best ways to maintain soil fertility and combat pests. By changing what you plant in each area of your garden every season, you're giving the soil a chance to replenish its nutrients and keeping those pesky bugs guessing. Now, let's talk about a method that's all about working smarter, not harder. The no-dig technique. This technique is exactly what it sounds like. You don't dig the soil. Instead, you layer organic materials on top of the soil to create a nutrient-rich environment for your plants. It's less work for you, and your garden will love you for it. Speaking of working smarter, have you ever heard of companion planting? This technique involves planting certain plants together to help each other grow. For instance, planting basil next to tomatoes can help to repel pests and enhance the flavor of the tomatoes. It's like having your very own garden buddy system. The fifth technique is all about water, more specifically, efficient watering. Watering your plants in the early morning or late evening can reduce evaporation, ensuring your plants get the hydration they need without wasting water. And remember, it's better to water deeply and less frequently than to give your plants a light sprinkle every day. Next, we move on to the technique of mulching. Mulching helps to conserve moisture, improve soil fertility, and reduce weed growth. You can use a variety of materials for mulching, from compost and straw to wood chips and pine needles. The best part? It also makes your garden look neat and tidy. Our seventh technique is pruning. Pruning isn't just about making your plants look good, it's also about improving their health and productivity. By removing dead or diseased branches, you're preventing the spread of disease and encouraging new growth. The eighth technique is all about timing, knowing when to plant. Different plants thrive in different seasons, and knowing when to plant can make a big difference in your garden's productivity. So do your research and plan ahead. Next up, we have the technique of using natural pest control methods. Rather than resorting to harmful chemicals, consider using natural methods like introducing beneficial insects, using homemade sprays, or planting pest-repelling plants. It's better for your garden and the planet. Now let's talk about the technique of vertical gardening. If you're short on space, growing upwards instead of outwards can be a game changer. From climbing plants to hanging baskets, vertical gardening opens up a whole new world of possibilities. The eleventh technique is succession planting. This involves planting new plants as soon as the previous ones have finished harvesting. It's a great way to maximize your garden's productivity and ensure you have a continuous supply of fresh produce. Next, we have the technique of intercropping. This involves growing two or more crops together in the same space. It's a great way to make the most of your space and can also help to deter pests and diseases. Our thirteenth technique is soil testing. Knowing the pH and nutrient levels of your soil can help you choose the right plants for your garden and give them the care they need. It's like giving your plants a health checkup. The 14th technique is all about plant diversity. Having a variety of plants in your garden can help to attract beneficial insects, deter pests, and create a more resilient ecosystem. Next, we have the technique of using cover crops. These are plants grown to improve the soil, prevent weeds, and protect against erosion. They're like a protective blanket for your garden. The 16th technique is using raised beds. Raised beds can improve soil drainage, make gardening easier on your back, and allow you to control the soil conditions more precisely. Next up, we have the technique of using organic fertilizers. These can improve soil fertility, promote healthy plant growth, and are better for the environment than synthetic fertilizers. Our 18th technique is the use of green manures. These are plants grown to be dug back into the soil, improving its fertility and structure. The penultimate technique is the use of perennials. These are plants that live for more than two years, providing color and interest in your garden year after year. Finally, we have the technique of gardening for wildlife. By creating habitats and providing food for wildlife, you can help to support biodiversity, 
while also enjoying the sights and sounds of nature, in your garden. With these techniques, you're well on your way to a garden that not only looks great, but is also managed with maximum efficiency. Don't just take our word for it, hear from those who've seen the benefits of these techniques firsthand. Imagine a world where your garden not only thrives but does so with less effort, less time, and less resources. That's exactly what happened to Emma, a once struggling gardener who adopted these techniques. Now she boasts of vibrant roses that are the envy of her neighborhood. The techniques are simple yet powerful, she says, my garden has never looked healthier. Then there's John, a retired school teacher who turned to gardening as a hobby. He was exhausted by the constant upkeep until he stumbled upon these efficient techniques. Now his garden is a thriving sanctuary, filled with lush greenery and an array of colorful flowers. I used to spend hours gardening with little to show for it, but these techniques have saved me time and brought my garden to life," John exclaims. Let's not forget Sarah, a busy working mom who managed to transform her dull backyard into a lively green paradise. The techniques are so efficient, I can't believe how much I've achieved in such a short time, it's like magic," she gushes. From the novice gardener to the seasoned green thumb, these techniques have proven to be game changers. There's Pete, a professional landscaper who was skeptical at first, now he swears by these methods. These techniques have revolutionized the way I garden, my clients are thrilled with the results and I've never been busier," he proudly shares. And it's not just about the aesthetic appeal, these techniques have also helped gardeners like Linda, who's grown her own organic food for years. I've seen a significant increase in my yield since I started using these techniques, it's amazing how much more I can grow with less work," she enthuses. Every gardener has their own unique story, their own struggles and their own triumphs. But the common thread that binds them all, the transformation they've seen by adopting these efficient gardening techniques. These success stories prove that efficient gardening techniques can truly transform your garden. Let's recap the key techniques that can help you garden with maximum efficiency. We discussed dynamic planting, meticulous pruning, mindful watering, and efficient harvesting. Each method, in its own way, contributes to a more productive and vibrant garden. Now, it's your turn. Transform your garden today. Implement these efficient techniques and enjoy a flourishing oasis. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more gardening insights. Until next time, keep those green thumbs busy in your garden's flourishing.